Hello everyone, I've decided to make a video about getting the maximum amount of keys and enchants from a lab run as possible on Path of Exile. I've decided to make this video because I know there's a lot of people that still don't know how to get all of them and run the labyrinth quite regularly, especially the Dark Shrine ones. Uh, I will try to make this video as short as possible and get straight into how to get all of them. Since the video itself will mostly be just a short list of all the places to get these items, the description will have in-depth explanations for every one of them. Starting with treasure keys, you of course always get one from killing Izaru at the end, so this will always happen if you manage to finish the labyrinth successfully. You can get two extra keys from the first two Izaru fights by completing the bonus objectives of sorts. These bonus objectives change with the rotation every day and for each of the first two Izaro fights you will have a special mechanic. Most of them are just additional mobs that fight you or portals where the only objective you have is to not kill them. There are some special ones like the charges where you have to wait for the charges to charge up and it will say in the chat when they are charged up. And there's an additional one when there are statues kneeling and you have to wait for their health to reach full before continuing. And there's one more that gives Izaro buffs and you must not click on them to get the additional key. This will be detailed in the description with links to pictures of all of these. You can also find two keys in curious lock boxes. There will always be two curious lock boxes in the labyrinth, but they will change place with labyrinth ropes, of which there are also two every labyrinth. You can get one additional key by killing Argus, which is somewhat of a side boss, which can be found in any room of the labyrinth before encountering the final Izaro fight. All you have to do is to kill it. Now the one most people don't know about is the additional key you can get from a Dark Shrine buff. Dark Shrines are things that you can find on any map that are places you cannot reach initially and have to find a hidden switch and then an area will open up. But you can see these areas on your minimap. There should be four Dark Shrines on each Labyrinth run, but I've seen times where there were only three. There are a lot of different buffs you can get from a Dark Shrine and one of them says discover what lies within in the chat and this means that you will get an extra key to drop from the final Izaro fight. You can only get this Dark Shrine buff once per run so you can only get one additional key from Dark Shrines. At the end of the Labyrinth run you can also get two additional treasure keys from the treasure chests themselves but this is once again something that's very RNG based so you might not always see this. There also used to be a prophecy that is now discontinued that allowed you to get an additional key dropping from Izaro at the end and it was discontinued because it stacked so if there were multiple players and all of them had the prophecy they all got the key. So you can still buy this prophecy from players that got it when it was available in the standard league but it's no longer available in the leagues that change every couple of months. All of this makes the minimum amount of keys you will get from a run 6 and maximum uh, amount of keys you will get on a run depending on your RNG 9 but if you're playing on the standard league and buy the Emperor's Trove prophecies you can get more than that. Keep in mind that there are only 10 chests in the final room so if you get 9 keys you're pretty much opening everything except for one chest. Moving on to the enchants using the divine font at the end of the labyrinth run. You always get one by finishing the labyrinth. You can get an additional one from the dark shrine as they are mentioned below. But keep in mind that if more players are doing the labyrinth together, only the player that activates the dark shrine will get this buff to get an additional enchant. And this is the only buff that only one person gets. Every other dark shrine buff will be given to all people. So keep that in mind. Another way to get an additional enchant is the twice enchanted prophecy that you can ge get by giving silver coins to Navali or buying it sealed from other players. Keep in mind that these two do stack so you can get a maximum of 3 enchants per run. But this of course once again RNG based because of the 
Dark Shrine buff. That is all, as I said, more in-depth info will be in the description with some links to pictures and other things that can help you. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!